So good morning. This is part two for our bustle making. And so today we are going to uh, go through the process of creating the backboard. And so the backboard can be made out of raw hide or leather or anything along that line. And so what I usually do is I get a piece of raw hide, hard skin, looks very similar to this. And I will fold this in half. So depending on the type of bustle I'm going to be creating, I will cut my backboard. And so usually I make a pattern, but I've made these so many times that I can just eyeball it. And so once again, it's just a rectangular or tapered piece of rawhide. Once again, folded right in half. So it has the fold, the fold is up on the top and that's very important because I'm gonna drill some holes right here at the top part and then inside I want to get an awl and puncture some holes in and so what I do is I will get a metal hanger. And so with this metal hanger, I will cut that hook part off Find the center and just bend it. So once I bend it, I open it back up a little bit and I just have this wire like this. And so what I want to do is I want to go into this rawhide. So once I cut my piece of rawhide, I want to punch a couple holes on the top. And so I usually go about an inch or so onto the top. So I kind of eyeball that, get my leather punch, or if you have a drill available, that works even better. And so, but you don't want the, you want the hole to be nice and small because you don't want too much play in this wire. And so this is how that is stuck in there. And so once again, I will punch some holes here and then I will sew it down. So I punched a hole on the top part or the bottom part, two holes, and then I have a needle and sinew once again to secure this and tie this in to this rawhide. And so I always start with my knots always on the inside so you never see them on the outside. And so all I'm going to do is continuous whip and I'll do this about four or five times. So once I do that, all I do is I knot it down. <clears throat> and so all I'm doing once again is I'm securing this hanger, this piece of metal into that rawhide and then I'll close it and then I will punch holes on the sides as well. And that closes this up. And so this part of this video is just to show you this process. And so this can be as elaborate as you would like. 
on the sides you can actually put some uh, trade cloth kind of sandwich the raw hide in between go all the way around punch your holes and then lace it with buckskin and if you do something like that it will actually look like this rawhide piece so this is a backboard once again all I am missing here are my two holes in my wire and so this is a backboard that I've been uh, working on with my grandson and so uh, once again we just need to place our holes place our wire in there and then this becomes the backboard and so on the sides you see that it's whip stitched around and it's secured and so I leave this loop in here like this because this is where the miganaka the belt the sash it slides in there and then we tighten it up and so it could be a belt it could be a sash but this is the back piece of the bustle and so that's how important this piece is and so the piece that i created last night looks just like this exactly what i showed you and so i will even these up and now my wires are the same height and so once again i sewed the sides cross stitched them as you can see right here and then i drilled holes in between because now i need to create my centerpiece this is the backboard my feathers are going to go in here like this and then my centerpiece will actually hold all of these feathers intact 